Alani maternal instincts flare and just like cradles her head. It's okay. She like pats her head, strokes her hair. It's okay. This isn't just... real. He's he's not. You're not. This isn't. I should I shouldn't be back here. I should be. Some... Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. I know you have the need and drive right now to be somewhere else, but please stay here and calm down and tell us use your words and tell us what it is that you remember, what it is that you need to go do all of a sudden. She looks at you, Bohan, like, like, uh, are you ready? Sort of look. Nod. Oh yeah, here for three hit points. Oh yeah, here for three hit points. Oh, that's, thank you. that's actually exactly enough. That's really perfect, huh? Mm. Either we double it or we hit it exactly. Let's go. No temp HP for you. <laughs> oh, God dang it, especially since my health's lower now, too. <laughs> Is it lower? Yeah, yeah I rolled how? like two nat ones when I was oh. rolling it and then just went back out and taking the average. When did you roll? Just, it's like the last three rolls before the, like, welcome to oh, the Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, you went. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I did three and then I was like, I'm taking the average. <laughs> Uh, you got max for first and stuff, though, right? Like you didn't bring yeah, that. yeah, yeah, I got max for first, yeah. But... Oh, let's see, you got... I should, I should have double the mathematical double checking. So that's 10, 14, uh, plus 11. Uh, so 11, uh, 11 plus 14 is 25, plus two levels of average, which plus uh, 5, 10, plus another 6. 16, 16 plus. You should be higher than this. Should I? You should, yeah. Let me, let me double check my mouth. So, uh, 3 times 6 is 18, so I'll just note that somewhere. I'll just type in the chat. 18, boom. Uh, so I have that noted. Plus. And then you had a 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 10. That's two levels of average. Should be about 40. Plus then. 8 plus. 18. You should have 50 health. 15. 50. 15. <laughs> 50. 5 0. You should have 50. According to my math. 35. Oh god, there you go. What did you use as the average for the two averages? Book said 5. Yeah, that is what it is. So, yeah. so I just have 35. 5 plus 5. Five. I mean, I am dyslexic five. as fuck. It would not surprise five. me the slightest. Uh, plus 14, because that's what she... Oh, wait, no! Wait, no! The hit dice thing accounts for the constitution. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. So that'd be minus 9. So you got 41. 41. Yeah, 41. Yeah. Not 50. But 41 is 135. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Could be enough to save your life. Yeah, where did you... I wonder where dead. the disparity came from. Ah, uh, just human error, probably. That's a, point, that's a point of, like, what, six? Yeah. It's like a six die, basically. Difference. So, the 11, then the 4, which is 15, so Plus the 4, plus the 6, so 21, plus another 4 is 25, and then average plus con, so plus 8 and plus 8 again. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I know what I did. I know what I did. Oh, did you not? Oh, I see what happened. Did you not add the con for the two median values? Yeah, that's exactly what I did. Uh, yeah, okay. I was gonna be like, I was I like, discrepancy realized. of six. That means that's the equivalent of two con mods. So I was like, hmm. Well, there yeah, you go. Yeah, that's what it's I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good yeah, thing yeah. we corrected it then. <laughs> Every head point matters. <laughs> Especially if it brings you up a threshold. Every ten is important. Mm. Definitely. Yeah, what were right, we well, talking about again? Yeah, so uh, you Stand. don't get temp HP. I'm sorry. <laughs> but and on the bright good. side, you now just have more HP in general. So it's a good thing we brought that up. Yeah. <laughs> so it was questioning what's going on. He's he shouldn't be here or he shouldn't be real. I think is what you were on. I yeah, think. and it's a question of is it a matter of he should be dead or if you start if you're starting to not believe this rea this fake reality because what like going through the latter one now changes how this arc will go. Now it's a more. Now we're if you guys go that way, which you guys eventually will, don't get me wrong, we will have we the mini arc will take a different turn. Because now it's not a matter of what's going on, now it's a matter of I can't trust reality. It's reality gaslighting you. Which is a giant fuck you, by the way, if reality's the one gaslighting you. <laughs> if reality's yeah, no, gaslighting you, then what the fuck is reality, period then? 
Yeah, I guess it wasn't even a gaslight if reality could just manipulate itself. Yeah, I feel like it's just reality. Yeah, so you guys get what I mean, though. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, the yeah. game would take a different turn. So, which one are you as VR going for? If he should be dead or this isn't real? Um, Don't get me wrong. The faster you guys go, the faster you guys, we get to the main campaign. But that being said, uh, I want you guys to play this however you want. See so, yeah. uh, next next week. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I think she's definitely starting to be like, this isn't how it's supposed to be. This isn't like the right. This isn't. Yeah, this isn't real. I think. You remember this, this isn't real? Just, yeah. All right. Uh. Oh, I didn't change the music. God damn it! I'm big. <laughs> I'm a dumb dumb. Uh, but since we're that's fine uh, because since we're going to uh, 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 change the theme, theme, notion, style, sensation. notion of the of the mini arc, we can now uh, move to a different type of music in accordance. Yay! <laughs> the creepy music. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, uh, nefarious laughter and the cheering. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should you see the picture. Like if you click on the video thing. for this, you should see the picture for it. It's so funny. Is it the one guy like smiling or whatever? No, no. <laughs> it's just the picture. The picture is so great for it. It's the fucking same picture for like all. <laughs> Wait, hold up. This, this is, is game very, session. very serious. Hey, quick question. By the way, that, uh, he's voiced by Sam oh, Regal. Oh, that guy's voiced by Sam Regal. That, uh, that, that big bear. Hey, question. Do you think this would get flagged? Because it's a game soundtrack. It's a game soundtrack, but I know fucking Japanese companies are very litigious, so... I'm just gonna mute it. Uh, no, I think it'll be fine. I don't think like it'll give you a copyright strike. It'll probably be like, you can't monetize it, but... What the f we're not well, the thing is, last time it was... Well, to be fair, last time it was flagged, it was take on me. Um... That was, yeah, if it, it has flagged, a Vivo, then yeah, that's, uh, that's probably getting So, this. like, if it's it longest this entire, round, like, episode, you should be fine for Let's see, so that it doesn't track next time. Honestly, if we talk over, I might just rub the auto detection, too, so. It's true. Mm. Yeah, okay, uh, I'll keep it on. You, cool, you, I, you'll be fine. I, I'm, I'm, like, 80% sure, sure. sure. All right, anyways, let's get it. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> so, yeah, um... Yeah, Fia, you don't trust this reality. I, I don't know. You can play however you want. I'm just trying to jump the gun here. Yeah, uh, yeah there's something up. There is no spoon. Yeah. <laughs> there is no spoon. I never got how bending the spoon is supposed to prove that there's no reality. I'm like, okay, you have teleconnect power. That doesn't mean reality's fake. <laughs> Anyways, my disdain for that one scene in the Matrix. Would you like some cookies? Fuck you, Oracle. Fucking Clippy. Fucking doesn't help at all. Are you looking ass, motherfucker? Anyway, so we get back to us. Uh, Ellie is still on, like keeping hold of you. She's trying to calm you down. Just talk with us, please. We're not here to harm you or anything, but we want to understand what is going on. And it seems that you have now unlocked some clue that we can use. Yes. Uh, okay, okay. Um. Fear. I know that my appearance might be startling. It is definitely different than the last time you saw me. I have a perfectly valid reason for it. If you just 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 calm down and we have a nice scholarly discussion. I would be more than happy to, but I just um well, this is just this is a lot. Okay, this um I saw you confirm your own death. I remember that. You told me you were dead. I... And you were very old at the time, like I remember, and yet you're here well, okay, and you're okay. all well, young. Well, the, the, the oldness I can explain, the, the, the prior part sounds, sounds like what I've been dreaming as of late. So you were lying. Not lying. I said dreams. You asked for nightmares. They're not nightmares to me. That still it, feels okay. like you should have been able to figure out that something off. Carry on. Yeah, we are for God, so I'm not sure if I was ready to tell you the truth, because you claimed I was someone, but I didn't know if it was actually her. So forgive me for my skepticism and suspicion. You are forgiven. 
Fia, what did you see? We can collaborate on this. What did you see? You said I confirmed my own death. What did you yeah, see exactly? There was a, a fountain. Um, we were underwater. Uh, oh, and he looks at you immediately, Bohan, like, do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, write it down. <laughs> it's frantic cool motions. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was. There was other people there. Korok was there. I remember that Korok was there. And, um, yeah, we were all talking to, like, our own person, I think, and mine was gesture to, to Hillebrand. Only that, um, he, he, he was telling me he died. I'd never actually saw you die, so, um, yeah, uh, uh, oh god, what else was there? Lo Lo don't remember the name, but I think she was she was definitely important, I remember that. She was royal, I think. Or something, like a princess? Maybe? And... <laughs> and, um, there was... He was telling me to. Hilbert was telling me to summon him again, uh, so we could figure out what happened with the. With the storm, that. Yeah, almost killed me and killed him. Your rock I, thrower lays a, a coffee cup in front of you. Thanks. <laughs> Just take it in. Uh, Eleni, the. It, the the bit the beautiful bit oh hello El. the beautiful bitterness of coffee uh does help anchor you a bit uh sweetness helps with shock supposedly so the sweetness of it does also help uh, it definitely isn't enough to calm a mind which is doubting reality itself but it's a nice gesture at least <laughs> well this certainly collaborates with the accounts we heard from Korik. He also described a fountain, this Lorelei in his own testimony. Uh, a number of things. No. Either both of you are telling the truth, or both of you are touched in the head, for lack of a better term. I don't think I've got any head injury, apart from what maybe... Allow me. Benny goes over and inspects you. His touch lingers on your scar as if confirming for himself <clears throat> no no head injury trauma head trauma concussions nothing no signs of it at least uh, I don't promise anything for magic magical influences on the mind but in terms of physical uh, she's clean you You and Korik both had your equipment with you as you arrived here, yes. Uh, yeah, it's... Um, Are you missing that. anything? I... Yeah, I... No, actually, I don't think I am. I need a sword, though, but I don't have one. But I know I'm not missing it. You don't need to be armed right now, although I'll see about it later. Again, you guys know how Eleni feels on being disarmed. Hmm. It's, one of her, it's one of her few political points. Is there anything else? People, um, what would you? Is there anything you'd want to know? You previously mentioned a massive individual. Yes. Yeah, he was one of them. Uh -huh. Do you see uh, this individual with greater clarity than before, perhaps? Bohan, can I see uh, her previous report? Her previous yeah, testimony. I slide it over. She begins like paging through it. A 
lar massive fellow, animalistic, I think is what you said. She's like paging like through it. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, he was a minotaur, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was it. That was it. Uh, large human Not bull creature. Not too surprising. Hmm. I think I've seen a couple around town. Where? Part of me. I don't know. Around. I didn't go up no, to talk to him. Sorry, not where. I said rare. <laughs> Rare, yes, but come on. Travis Tran always did attract the rare. Hmm. It's just true. Yeah, and... Regardless, racial population count aside... Continue. Um... Yeah, there was... Him, um... Had... A woman... Uh... Red hair? I think. Yes, yes, I remember this this woman. She, uh, her, a uh, man with a blade at his side, this minotaur. I remember these. And a lad, mask on his face, a tiefling, or that one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's um, it, yes. yeah. yeah. Yes. A tattooed young man with a raven on his shoulder? Yes, the one with the raven uh, on his side. Yeah, Coric. Uh, I... I think yeah, I was... was... Mm -hmm. Is that why... Kick on, kick on, sorry, sorry. No, you go for it. <laughs> Before... Uh, this, our separation, however it may have happened, I, I, I was going to introduce you to some close some personal friends, my colleagues, close colleagues of mine. Uh, I was going to do it after the storm, but obviously, what happened, whatever it might have been, did happen. And I, as of late, with these dreams I've been having, I had the dr desire, the drive to not contact them again necessarily, but just get um, combined, I don't know, uh, conglomerate how to contact them. So these, these close friends of mine, I was wondering why as of late. I thought it was nostalgia wanted nostalgia, but I think now this is something else. That's... Do you remember you who they were called? Yes, yes, I have. I, I can tell you right now, but I'm trying to... There's more to the dream. I... You were said I... changing? No, no, it's... I asked you to summon me again in this dream. So... Why? Why did I ask you? So, I, I, so I could tell you, tell you about them. Yeah, yeah. It was. I had to find stuff on my end, and you had to find out stuff on yours. Yes, yes, exactly. I, I, I could tell you about them. I don't have a means of contacting them, uh, on me right now, but I can still tell you of them. Uh -huh. Alright, this is where Crash gets uh do Listo Nemos. He gives three names. And I'll go into detail about who they were to him in a second, uh, as I describe them. Leopold. <laughs> Jezebella. Jezebella Langshan. Uh she's a half elf. Uh Without her aid, I doubt we would have gotten anywhere at the speed, alacrity, or effectiveness as we did in Gothotha lore. She was instrumental. Uh, we never met her. She was always busy off doing something on a different part of the continent. But let me tell you, without her, maybe without her, things would be different. 
But no dwelling on that now. <clears throat> Lawrence of the Heartlands. You and I, we employed a number of people to to go with us on these expeditions. Some which I entrusted you to hire, some which I hired. There were certain people that came with us on the expedition, people I trusted, valued minds uh, of an adventurous sense that we brought along. Uh, Lawrence would be, was the one to have, have hmm, inform me, reference them to me. He was, he's quite the people's person. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Leopold was actually the one that told me about that gravestone you and I met at. Oh. He's a very well-traveled man. He's... Uh, for the group I work with, he... he I shouldn't say work with. That makes it sound like this is some sort of business. This fellowship I am in, this research group, uh, he's the one that goes out and makes those connections, gets us sponsorship, funding, connections that might further our research, stuff like that. Um, it was actually by his recommendation, not as a formal one, but more of a referential, referencing recommendation that I actually got to the Far Provisional College. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. I was going to introduce you to them. See if they might, I don't know, uh, help <laughs> make out of me, make out of you what they made out of me. <laughs> but obviously, fate had different plans. Yeah, yes, if it was of Arabia, it would be from the uh, the Don Peninsula. Thank you very much. All right, we're gonna keep thematic elements here. Sorry to. He looks at you and Kendler. Sorry to interrupt. Jesus. Just in case we <laughs> have some time before we see each other again. This is a lot to take in. The, um, um, so, so let me confirm one more thing. The fountain is a point of commonality that you both have confirmed, all four of you, I suppose. And what of the incident you were describing? Was that Korik? Where, where did Korik get this? Uh, Eleni, the, the blade. Deposit on the table. Just, just leave it there. How did this come to be in his possession? How much of that would I... Mm. With this wave of realization, your memory... Okay, bio. Uh, your memories are more clear now and more quote-unquote truthful. So you remember for this that he had to fight for it. He technically sort of lost, but he lost honorably to get it. Mm -hmm. That the person that gave it to him was honorable and used a similar weapon. Yeah, okay. And you can feel free to extrapolate on that yourself, however much you want, but I'll just give you guys the starting prompts, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Okay. Um, yeah, it was... Like I said, it was a fight. He fought for it. Um, it was like an honor thing, I think. Like a duel? Yeah, yeah, it was... We all fought, but he fought that person in particular. I think he lost, actually, but it... He still... Gave it over. Um, it's quite something, I suppose. But yeah, it's sort of coming back to me now. Can you describe the battle? The combatants? It was... It was in this sort of... Large room. We were all there, um, we had... We were all fighting against this one person, but there was... Others that were summoned to... Break us up. Honor was a big thing, I remember. Um... 
it had to be single combat or by the rules. How, how did they fight? What weapons did they use? What tactics? Similar to the sword. The sword was given to him afterwards. He... I think he used magic, something like that. Um, yeah, he, it was. Yeah, I, I'm trying to think of a way to describe it accurately. Why this happens, uh, Venian? He doesn't even realize he took a step out. To be fair, it's been pretty hectic. Uh, he steps back in, closing the door quietly behind him. Uh, he goes over to probably you, Kafra, because you're, you know, right there next to the door. He goes over to you, and whispers that Miss Vasati Renan is fine. She's actually working right now. If you guys want to go catch her at the spa. All right, she'll just nod. <laughs> he goes back to his Ventech Industries room. But yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say he probably whispers to <laughs> dumb me. I was gonna say Rita Vega. That'd be dumb. Uh, Fritz, you also <laughs> get this information whispered to you. <laughs> but yeah, he just goes back to his space. He does grab a sandwich, which he left on the <laughs> the main table. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just grabbing something for myself. Get back to it. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps if you show them both swords, uh, Eleni. Very well. She moves the, you know, this umbra hilt over, and she <laughs> pulls out her own blade and. Hold, she doesn't set it. She doesn't set it down on the table. She's she just holds it out for you you to see. She raises like most of her fingers, except her index finger and her thumb to keep hand uh, uh, to keep a hold on the uh, blade, the hilt itself. Roll my charisma saving throw. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he has a really really high charisma saving like. Yeah. yeah. It's not even like middle, middle plus a high mod makes it good. It's like high plus a high mod makes it even better. <laughs> you squint your eyes for a moment, like, like trying to like see any detailing on the blade, and then similar to the vicious, you know, violent cognitive dissonance thing from before. Not so violent this time, don't worry. Uh, you blink once and you see that same silhouette, same blade. <laughs> Uh, there's a mask on them this time, but you can see that same mask on Eleni. It's the same fucking person, except she can actually, she actually talks and stuff. And then you blink <laughs> again and you're brought back to Traverse Town. Away from the underwater gr grave light green gloom and stuff. You're just like. Pfft. You stumble <laughs> backwards a bit. At a, yeah, you stumble backwards a bit. I'll start on it. Yeah. Just Given the similarity between these two weapons, we can see why we are concerned. Y you, it was, it was you. I'm pointing at her. You had the sword. Eleni tilts her head. What? Huh? It was you. I, I swear to God. Gods. She. There you go. <laughs> at a girl. She sheaves her blade. I'm afraid I don't understand. Can you? You Tell were me. the one that we fought. It was... You had a mask on. She um, gra she grabs her own faceplate, clicks into place with her, you know, samurai helmet S. Like yes. this. Yes, like that. Exactly like that. She looks at the rest of... To the rest of you and Kinders very concernedly. You were waiting in the thing when we came up. You still like the honor. I think. And then you let us stay there for the night. I remember that. Stay where? Mm. In this, um, 
Oh god, it, a battleground? It, it was like an enclosed space. Um, an arena of sorts. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, exactly like that, yeah. We all had a small camp and then you disappeared once we settled in and there was a mass man? It's, I don't know, but yeah, you were there. Mass and man. You, I can't remember. You might have been a part of the group. I don't know, but it was definitely you. That mask is... Yeah. We need to get to the bottom of this. You both, you and Cork, have both clearly seen some <sighs> false or otherly dimension. Some sort of I... augmented reality. I personally, I don't think that's the augmented one. Oh, and he raised an eyebrow. Well, you have to excuse us if we think that this is real. Considering how we were here before you even showed up. Fritz is kind of like tapping his foot. <laughs> this guy I mean, think about nervous. it. It's, I mean. I'm remembering something completely different, and I've just appeared out of the feckin' blue, right? I mean... You were talking about- Sandy then, works in strange ways. Gestures at Hilbert, he's... dead, and 30 years younger, which you still haven't explained yet, by the way. We, do we, we haven't had the moment! Okay, do you want quick, to me to explain now? <laughs> quick explanation of that, since we're on that topic anyways. Magic! <laughs> Alright. But you can't- you couldn't use magic. I don't think. I didn't say it was my magic. I just said it was magic. Magic by who? By a benefactor of my fellowship. That was here in Traverse Town or elsewhere? No, 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 no. no. This was years ago, after the storm had, had happened. But she says that you died in the storm. And I thought she died in the storm. We have a conflict of accounts here. And a lot of dead people in more in mine than in hers, apparently. Regardless, we should get back to this. Fair. Even if this is a false reality, we must treat it as if it were real. Okay? So, stay with us and walk us through your deductions. Okay. Um, let me think. There's... <sighs> Should we get Korok in here as well? What do you all think? Rohan nods. Might be a good idea. Catherine? Yes. Yes, that sounds good. Let's just start arguing. I'll be right back. She walks up the steps. Cork, you are retrieved. Not by Bohan this time. Mr. Cork? Yes. It seems that your accounts of you and Fia, Hilbrint, and Fancy have had a. <sighs> Suffice to say, a tremendous amount of collaboration which only distorts the truth so we're trying to get to the bomb please come with us lead the way she brings you downstairs <sighs> take a seat Cork. this <laughs> is hilbrant a an acquaintance of fia's who, in a similar manner as Sigurd Tef, reports, if not nightmares, dreams of visions of a fountain of death. And we're trying to get to the bottom of it. Uh, he looks familiar. 
a little young. Younger, I suppose. I recognize you. You look the same. Minus the blade at your side. I could bring it up right now if you like. <laughs> then Kenler's suspicion level increases by <laughs> one. <laughs> that since Hilbert notices this, that's that's fine. No, let's discuss. Scholarly discussion. Get to the bottom of this. I'm interested in this now too. Ask away. Yeah. Honestly, don't know where you even begin. Well, an idea is. How about what happened after that fountain? That's a good starting point. Because this we... fountain is a point of commonality. Yeah, and we seem to have a fair amount of information about that, but not much else beyond it. Mm-hmm. I recall I was speaking with, with Fancy and he told he told me they were they tortured him. Much like he said here. Oh. But but that they couldn't get any information out of him. That I needed to be on my guard. But where? Why? Fia, where were we going? I remember you were there. Or, or yeah. Rather, where had we had come from somewhere, hadn't we? Uh, we're under the ocean. What were we? Yeah, it was. I remember we were, maybe it's... we were doing something. Switch seats for me, girl. This is, this will be better for both of you if I'm not in the middle of it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Now it's a different thing. No, do the fantastic shuffle. Mm. But yeah, it was... I think, I, I remember Lorelai. It was something to do with her, right? Yes. She then he needs... steps out from his, the kitchen, rushing uh, to the door. Uh, sorry. I just had to make a... I, I just got, got a quick call. I, I will be back later, but don't worry about it. He leaves the door. <laughs> Oh, and now I'm kind of worried about it. Venian is a talented individual. No doubt his services are requested by other Enkindlers. Yeah, but he's in frantic. I suppose. He's like, you guys can see through the windows next to the door. He's like talking to someone on a phone. It's, it's your fucking Enkindler badge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It works as the flip phone because flip phones are the best ones. Sure. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. I just like the anyway. satisfying flipping, okay? <laughs> so yeah, back to this. That's just how I excuse NPCs out of the conversation. F Thea, what about the other two? Oh. We're the only I... two. No, no, there were more. We were seven of us. What about the uh, the, um, the man in the mask? <laughs> Look at that just a barrack first. <laughs> man uh, in yeah. the mask. Yeah, what was his name? Can I try and recall? Roll it! Cha! His name is- oh god, I got vaporized. Cha! Probably make that sound like a bird call. Farty! You can't remember. <laughs> no. I, I guess I, yeah, you can try to remember. Yeah. Drawing, drawing a blank. Let's see. Let's see. Like oh, I Eric. almost did Catherine there. That's embarrassing. Like, like Eric or something? It's, yeah, Eric. Yeah, 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 Eric. Yeah, I'm, I'm really feeling Eric, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's on the tip of my I can't... I do remember some masked person, but no name. What I do know is I... This... I'm not supposed to be here. I need to get back. I need Lorelai. She needs us. We need to. We need to find her. Yeah, it's. It's like we're on a we're. Mission quest something like that. To. Track something. Down. 
track something or someone or um, where where did you go after the uh, after the fountain? Watch the fountain. Because you both have bits and pieces, but they seem extremely fuzzy. Yeah, it's like I said earlier. It's like I'm about to reach something, but it just sort of disappears at my grasp. Uh, that sounds familiar. <laughs> it's a bit clearer now, but it's still hard. Um. Let's see. How many pours a cup of coffee and slides it over to Yukork and then one for the Hellbrent? Gestures to the donuts and the sandwiches on the table. <laughs> <laughs> if it helps. Team Quirk, on. Quirk will try a sip, but he'll. Very nice. Very smooth. Coffee is not usual. <laughs> not your cup of tea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's, it's a lot better than I expected, but I must confess I'm usually a tea drinker. Uh, perhaps then... Uh, perhaps if anyone will, we can't spend for tea. Anyways. <sighs> there was something. I have, wasn't there another meeting? Another meeting. Maybe not. The group gathering again. Mm. Yeah, maybe the. Was that was that maybe when we fought? And I'll point to her. Uh, Elani. 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 That was close. We fought her, didn't we? I remember that. This after? is ringing some bells for you, Cork. Yes, 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 we did. How many just raised an eyebrow? <laughs> or I guess I did. Yeah, you and we fought other things. They were like ah. I'm trying to remember what they were called. <laughs> Uh, was... Okay, I I will I will try something. I'm going to summon a blade into my hand. I will I'm I'm not going to do anything with it, and I will point it away from everybody. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> she looks at the rest. Helen looks at the rest of you and Kindlers, as if like gauging your readiness. Uh, Bohan reaches for his shield. Yeah, Fritz just seems ready to cast some type of spell. Yeah, Catherine is... Oh, and he uh, does take back the, board, the hilt. Mm. Uh, Catherine's got her blade ready. Very well. Though, know that if you try anything, we won't be asking these questions for much longer. Understand. Korak uh, is going to summon a Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade. The hilt like flies from like because I only moved it back to in front of her. It dissipates like inky smoke, and then surges over to you where it recoalesces, except in this case, into your more standard Shadow Blade. Well, I wasn't anticipating that. Her hand is resting on her pommel. Now, in the blade's completed form, it looks a lot more like a, an actual blade sword. Yeah. Vaguely katana. Uh, that's up to you. It, it, it's uh, adaptive to its uh, attuned. Yeah, 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 I think Oric would have kept the uh, shape of the, uh, the blade that okay. I was giving to him. Okay. Might have taken on a more reddish hue than before. That's fair. Hmm.
I will put this down now. He's going to put the blade on the table and then let go of his concentration. It re like coalesces, like shrinks, like compacted down back into where the blade was before. The hilt, rather. Well, I'm afraid that. No, that doesn't start anything in my memory. It was definitely you, though. I... Can I can Cor can can I see if Korok recalls the coin that was in Fia's possession at the time? Oh, the the cord coin. Sure. Roll charisma. Save throw. Chas off. Chasa, that's the name of a uh, orcish character.